Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new video on my channel. Now, it's been a little bit of a while since we've done a PVM or sort of mini boss related video on the channel, and we have done very, very well before. So in this video, I'm going to be doing that, and we're going to be going to look at Glacials. Now, I'm not talking about the big Arch Glacial from God Wars 3. This is going to be the littler version, and the one which was released many years ago with the quest Ritual of the Majorat. Now, these Glacials can be given as a Slayer task, so we're going to go and force one as well. But the one I'm going to show you is the profitability and how much you're going to make from a Glacial task, and as well to show that they really are very good charms, very good mage XP, and probably something worth killing off task as well for profit. So again, as you can see from the quest requirements, quite a lot of quests and pre-quests do it. However, this is going to put you on course for the Curse Prayers and lots of high quests as a result of this. So it's something you're going to be doing along the way anyway. It's a pretty decent quest, and like I said, you can get a lot of XP and the benefits of killing Glacials. Now, Glacials have a couple of drops. Their standard drop table is quite good. A lot of Akavals as well, which is why I brought the Spring Cleaner. They have the Shards of Armadil, which is linked to the Armadil Battle Staff. Now, because of the EOF and the EOF scape, the Armadil Battle Staff is quite a high price. Now, I'm going to go and check the GE just to show you what sort of price it's going to be. But you have a rough drop table of every 5 in 48, you have a chance of a Shard of Armadil. The each drop is just singular shards, so only shards of 1, and you need 100 to make the Armadil Battle Staff. However, they are dropped very regularly, and they're quite common on the drop table as well, so that is what you're mainly aiming for, is your overall GP. However, along with that, there is a chance of the Glacial Boots, Steadfast, Ragefire, and Glavens, all a 1 in 1, 2, 8, 0, uh, and in a minute, the Ragefires are the most expensive. Ragefires are just under 32 mil, Glavens are just over 16 mil, and Steadfast, unfortunately, are just over 2 mil as well, so... The boots are decent and will add into your overall profit as well, and the normal jobs as well. You make quite a bit from high alking. So let's go and just check the GE. So for your sake and my sake as well, I just want to make sure that the money is definitely in the battle staff. So if I buy that. Now because of the changes to the combat triangle um, and the changes to magic in particular, this is dropping. However, with it being just under 200 mil, the price per shard is still 2 mil per price for shard because you need 100 to make the battle staff. So it is still pretty good, um, and even if it goes to 100 mil, it's still decent profit as well because you're getting the shards so regular. Now I'm just going to turn that back into the GE. Now in terms of your setup, Mage is the best way to kill him and probably the only way to kill him as well. So I've just gone for the standard Crypt Bloom Tryhard. Um, I've gone for the said set because I think the Concentrated Blast is better than a Staff. However, whatever sort of Mage weapon you want to use, as long as it's sort of over level 80, you can have decent accuracy. Fire spells are incredibly powerful here as well, so you're definitely going to be hitting. So that's what you want to pretty much have your best mage setup. Because fire spells are better, I would definitely recommend for the cheaper side just doing normal spells. I want to see if Animator Dead helps with any of the specials though, so I'm going to use Extinguish spell or whatever that is, um, just so I can test the Animate Dead as well. But in terms of best way to make profit, definitely use mag uh, normal magic spells because that would definitely uh, be cheaper overall. So like I said before, you can actually unlock these um, as a slayer task as well. If you go into the learn um, to be assigned glacial source, you, I think it's something like 50 points. It's definitely not a lot. So all I'm going to do now is just bang the slayer cape on. We are going to cancel our current assignment. Right, so there is glacial We are going to get to 70 glacial source kill. Now they're not big tasks either. I think these are sort of 100 because they're sort of like a demi, a mini, mini boss. So you won't get too much at all. Now, something I've kept in my bank for a long time. I have 30 shards, so it's time to actually go and get some decent shards. And in terms of an invo as well, I can bank the poison because they are immune. I basically just took overload, spring cleaner, Excalibur, some bruise, a fairy ring because that's uh, the best way to get there. Now, glacial swords, you can kill them in multiple places. You can kill them in the wilderness. I'm going to go and kill them in the old glacial cave because you get boost as well. DKQ. Now some very important abilities here, um, and as you can see, like no one really comes here anymore. People come here for the boost. This will give you like a 3% damage boost in God Wars Dungeon, or 6% as long as you're close to the Stone of the Jazz. Now in terms of your combat, I'm just going to do the Mage Prayers. I'm going to activate my book. In terms of an aura, I'm just going to do Penance because it just takes the need for prayer out of the way. And yeah, I'm going to do Animate Dead as well, so let's see how that goes. So basically what you need to do is kill the Glacials till it reaches probably about half HP and then it releases its little Glacials. The first one, this red one here, is basically a ticking counter. And what that will do, that will explode once that reaches to the top. The light green one is something that basically saps your prayer very quick, so it's something you want to kill quite quick as well. 
And the Glacial can't be damaged until you actually kill all its Glacites as well. So, and there we go. Um, as you see, that was very, very quick. Um, the only reason it took longer than it did was because the Glacial was hiding and I couldn't find it. If I move as well. Now, one thing which used to happen is this blue one here, the Enduring one, basically has a really high defense and you have to drag it away from the Glacial. That used to not be aggressive, but by the look of it, it is. So that makes things a lot easier. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You just need to dispose of the Glacites in the right way. Like I say, make sure you drag the Enduring Glacites away from the Glacial because you can't damage it until it's further away. And just keep an eye on that red one as well because that will explode and cause you some mass damage at some point as well. Like I say, in terms of the ability bar, I've probably not got the best. I'm just using like my standard mage bar with used God Wars 3. Um, but it seems to be doing the job. Like I say, all these things you can interchange. Your setup you can interchange to what works best for you. If you want to use a staff instead of two-handed, two that's fine. Um, it's basically just getting a rhythm down in terms of killing these. But things like the boost you're going to get from the Stone of Jazz, the Slayer Boat boost as well is going to really help. And the fact is you're using fire spells on here, which is quite OP. And because of the Enduring, you're probably going to have to bring some prayer pots as well because I'm using Pendants and it's actually not keeping up with it, mainly because we're not really getting damaged. But in terms of sort of speed of kills, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty good to be fair. Now, they do have one special where they throw some spikes at you. Um, the way you DPS it nowadays, I doubt you'll get to the point where you're going to need to dodge it. But all you need to do is just move out of the way. Um, it has that kind of mechanic. But yeah, it's uh, if you've got like things like Dragon Breath or Chain at this point, do it so you can attack them all at the same time. But I just wanted to go over a few kills on basically how to kill Play Sword. As you can see by the clips, it's not really that hard. It's very sort of straightforward. So just to go over the minions again, you have the red minion, which is the exploding one. It has the countdown bar on top as well. Once that hits max, that will explode. You have this enduring glacier, which has a high defense when very close to sort of the big glacier as well. Although you don't really need to go as far away as you used to. Um, magic is way more strong than it used to be. And then the green glacier is the sort of sapping glacier. That is what's going to get rid of your prayer very, very quick. Now, as you can see there, that was the glacier special where it sort of camps you and it hits you and fixes you to the ground. Just run whenever you see it um, and it won't keep you locked into place at any one time. And there we go. There is our first shard of armor. Now, that was in 10 kills as well. And that's roughly going to be the rate you're sort of looking for. It's every one in 10 kills-ish. And it will even out. If you go on a bad run and you go for a couple of trips where you don't get a lot of shards, it always does even out. And that's um, basically what you need to aim for. You're sort of looking for a battle staff every 1,000 kills, um, which makes it pretty decent in the long run as well. And the way to work these out is that for every one shard you're going to get, that's basically a two more drop. You are making pretty decent money per hour as well. And if you get a boot drop, that's just money on top as well. You will get some boots eventually. Um, but they're just over one in a thousand as well. But as you see, um, you no longer have to tag all the Glacites. They are actually coming to you. Now, if you wanted to make it a bit easier as well, you can also do a aggression potion. Um, but I don't think you really need to because these are pretty much moving. I'm not sure if it's my um, AOE abilities. I think they're just coming as they're aggressive anyway. But that's pretty much the Glacial mechanics. You've got the three Glacites you need to polish off once it hits half HP. You've got the spike attack it will throw you, which will sort of hit you for half HP and lock you to the floor. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. There we go. There's a big spike attack, and uh, that would have hit me pretty hard. But yeah, in terms of the glacier you get rid of, definitely get rid of the green and red first. And the blue one you can leave till last because it's got no real effect apart from the fact that defense is quite high. Um, but in terms of the magic gear now, it's too outclassed, and it'll get pretty much slapped up very, very easy. And don't get me wrong, if you're after charms, Definitely go to the Arch Glacier because that is by far better than this. Um, it's probably better magic XP as well. However, I think in terms of profit for ease, um, this Glacier is definitely better profit than the low level AFK steady Arch Glacier boss. So I'm just going to go and finish the task now and show you roughly what you can get in a slay task of Glaciers. If I get anything like boost or anything, I'll come back. But in the meantime, um, I'll just go and slay, slay away. So this is the final clip of the task. I definitely think these could be 100 kills per hour if you're a lot better than me. Not gone too bad. Just over 45 minutes to do 70, uh, which was pretty good. Things I've learned, definitely use normal magics. Um, the anime dead don't really help. Bring para potions as well because the sapling, the sapping glacites will make your life rough. Um, but apart from that, these are really chill. Like, you can definitely tell the upgrades magic have had and it's definitely made it way more out of And these are just pretty much cannon fodder now. They're really, really easy to kill. Charms are pretty good, but that's what Glacials are always were. Drop table as well, weren't brilliant, but I have had lots of alcohols from the spring cleaner. Um, two shards, which is basically four mil. Because this is roughly 100 
kills per hour as well. You can sort of put it more towards around 18 to 20 mil per hour because you you should be getting um, a shard every sort of 10 kills. Not that I have, again, but it should level out after a certain period. Um, and if you're averaging 100 kills per hour, which you should be if, if you're paying attention and you're on it, you're sort of looking about 20 mil in just shard profit, and that's without included boots or other drops as well. So I'm pretty confident to say 18 to 20 mil profit per hour just by killing glacors. Definitely tag these into your slay tasks because I think it would be a nice change. Um, it's nothing too intense, and it's definitely something which is quite cool as well. And you'll never have competition because no one at all ever comes down it unless we're after the God Wars boost. But like always, if you have enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and subscribe. If you've got any other suggestions of bosses you want me to go in and explore or guides you want me to show, please let me know in the comments and I'll always try my best to make sure I do that as soon as possible for you guys. Thank you so much for the support lately. Um, it's really helping my channel to grow quite a lot. Hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys very soon in another video and hopefully plenty more combat videos coming very, very soon on this channel.